Hey guys, Daniel here, back at it again. Uh, this time we're going to be capturing light through the darkness with maps and postcards. Well, that's actually not Daniel. I'm Daniel. And we're not taking any of those kind of photos. What we're actually doing is some long exposures and we're just going to bomb around Toronto and see what kind of cool pics we can get. But first, we need to eat. Alright, so here's the game plan. Uh, by the way, this is Lumbo. He is not Daniel. Hey. I am Daniel. Uh, we're actually going to head downtown and just drive around and find a sick spot to do a long exposure of the CN Tower. Nice view of the city. Yep. And we'll see how that goes. So let's do that. So, we are, I don't know where we are. Humber Bay Park. Humber Bay Park in Toronto. In Toronto? Toronto. Just like outside. Uh, Etobicoke? Like Etobicoke. It's Toronto. The six. The six. Uh, now, all we have to do is set up our shot um, and wait for the right light. But first, I'm gonna get Lumo to explain what you need for a good long exposure. Welcome to another episode of Learning with Lumbo. The first thing you're gonna need is a tripod. You're not gonna wanna have to hold a camera for three hours, this is gonna help you out. The next thing you're gonna need is a remote. Now you want a remote so that you're not touching the camera, messing up the shot, moving it any so way. Uh, any slight movement's really gonna mess it up, so when in doubt, remote. Yo, is that it? I think so, I can't think of anything else that we should really, we need a camera for this. You can't take a photo without a camera, guys. Come on, you know this. And that was learning with Lumbo. All right, so we got our tripod set up in the back. I don't know if you can see that or not. Thank you for that awesome explanation. Uh, we also have the remote set up. Another thing the remote is good for is you can actually lock the shutter open so you can have it open as long as you want. You don't have to worry about touching that camera. You don't have to like hold your finger on the button. So that's beauty. Uh, skyline in the background down there. You can't really see it, but it's there. Um, it's there. And now we just gotta wait it out till the, the light is just the way we want it. <laughs> we just finished up shooting at uh, Humber Park. Pretty sweet spot. We got some sweet shots of the skyline. Show you this one right here. And I'm not really a photographer, but it was pretty simple. Oh yeah? It wasn't too difficult. That's good, like yeah. if it's easy for you, it'll be easy for other non-photographers. Yeah, it was pretty good. I'm gonna switch hands here. Yeah. Jesus, this is heavy. You wanna hold it? Yeah. Oh wow, that is heavy. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, hold it out like that. Okay. Yeah, um, and we actually got another shot, which is my favorite. It's this one right here. Totally by accident, figured we should just turn the camera and check this out. And uh, that's what we got. Now we are headed to another spot on Christie. Christie and Bloor. Christie and Bloor, downtown Toronto. And we're gonna try another cool shot and when that's done I'll show you guys what it looks like. whole awesome outro recorded but the shots we were doing right before that required the camera to be in manual so like an idiot I left it in manual and the whole thing was blurry and it was a total write-off I can't believe you've done this <sighs> I'm just disappointed you know just be better Daniel anyway guys if you like the video hit that subscribe button drop some comments down below like it and I'll catch you guys in the next one just be better